Hello, welcome back to the channel. Do you ever write code and program it into your ESP8266 and when you turn it on, all it does is flash, 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 flash repeatedly and it's repeatedly sending back a reset message? Well, I did. I recently programmed my ESP8266 and uh, it wasn't behaving at first. It wasn't doing anything. It just booted. And so I put a command in. I wanted to see what was happening. And this was the command that I added. First of all, I added the ESP log I, you know, the uh, thread that it was in and the fact it was called. And as soon as I added that, that was the effect, which was strange because I then changed it to a printf. And the printf printed. It didn't flash and it printed. A bit concerned. So in thinking about it, I had to look at what the error message was. Oh, and just in case, just in case you forgot to read the title, I'm using the free RTOS. This was the error message. Basically, the snack canary watch point was triggered and it was triggered by the HTTP underscore server thread. Meditation error. So, uh, <laughs> Somewhere in there, there is a guru who mis mistook his meditation and the core panicked. That tells you nothing. That's the blue screen of death on the PC. And at least that gave me a hint. Because I didn't know what the hell a canary watch point triggered was. So I looked it up on the internet. It turns out buffers have canaries. And a canary is just a marker at the end of the buffer, as it says here which is checked periodically. If it's changed from its default value, it means your program has written, well, it says attempted, but it says it's written beyond the end of the buffer. So you've had a buffer overblow. Armed with that, I went back, looked at my code, and lo and behold, you know, this, this is the stack buffer size. And so it would appear, for what I'm doing, 1,024 bytes isn't big enough for the stack buffer thought it was but it wasn't so you see here I increased it to 2048 bytes just doubled it easy and the flashing went away and I could go back to using the uh, log files or log printing and I found a silly typo and then the program was happy and it works so you know if you get flashing errors <laughs> read what the log says as it certainly helps <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you're not a, not a subscriber, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notification and I'll see you on the next one.